So you want uh, English or uh, Francais? Let's go with English, okay. because I don't remember any of my ninth grade French. Uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> what is this ugly scream? <laughs> oh, goodness, it's sucking up the Powerpuff Girls. Oh, no. <laughs> we need them to save the day. Midway. I've never heard of Midway. I don't know what they did, because they weren't the developer. Hey, it uses Bink Video. <laughs> I don't know what Bink Video Nick is. Nicktoons Unite. Oh. Hey, use the Havoc phys Physics Engine. <laughs> That's Brawl and Sonic 06. This could either be good or bad, then. Well, now you know who's in the game. It's Ed. It's another Ed. And Eddie. Oh, they're being spun. <laughs> so this game is developed by A2M. Who's What's A2M? They developed Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem. Uh-oh. You know, number five. <laughs> number five on my list of top five worst games ever made. Oh, God. That bodes well for this game. Hello everyone, my name is Abiel's Fish. And I'm Katatui101. And welcome to the uh, May-June poll winner from the Discord server. This is Ed and Eddie The Misadventures. Released on GameCube, PS2, and probably original Xbox, but I don't know about that one. An uncapitalized Comic Sans font. No, it's capitalized. <laughs> no, for select and back. Oh. <laughs> I don't know anything about this game. This is literally the first thing I'm seeing of it. The only thing I know is that I looked at the developer and yeah, it's the guys who did Scooby Doo Mystery Mayhem. Although they uh. also did uh, SpongeBob Plankton's Robotic Revenge. And uh. honestly, I wouldn't call that game great, but it wasn't that bad, I thought. Mm -hmm. Well, going in with an open mind, obviously. Oh, always do. <laughs> always do. I like the first level of Mystery Mayhem. I do like how they're using the music from the show. Yeah, at least it's not just like blank. This menu's ugly, but I kind of like how they named each of the files after the ads. Oh my god. But this menu's pretty ugly. <laughs> I love the theme song, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Oh, it's great. Ed, Ed, and Eddie is one of my favorite shows. Like, not just favorite, like, cartoons. It's just one of my favorite shows. It's mm -hmm. so... The atmosphere is great on that show. I'll give them credit for, the, like, making this cutscene actually look like the show. Oh, look at that. It looks like they're using cell shade models, which uh, is a nice touch. Oh, no, those are actually, like, animated. They sound like the real actors. I would assume so. No one in the show is exactly a uh, top-level actor. It'd be hard to obtain. Mm. Collect ice cubes to make snow cones. So... Whoa, it looks really cool. Like the visuals. I kind of dig it. I like the visual direction, but their faces look really bad. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. That said, yeah, no, I do agree. I like that it uses the cell shade art direction. I wish I wish more games based on like TV shows would do that. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, the, I'll put like some of the screenshots here. This is like the Battle for Bikini Bottom remakes concept art. And like, I don't know. I don't like using blue lighting on something that's supposed to look like a cartoon. It makes everything look plastic. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I, I wish it would go for a style more like this, obviously with better models. Anyway, I can select the Ed with the R button. Oh, you can you can play it's whatever Ed you want. When it, I'm assuming they have different abilities. When an object glows, it means that you can interact with it by pressing the Y button. It's like the basketball. So I can like pick it up. <laughs> I'm playing basketball, Double D. <laughs> <laughs> I smacked the cooler, and a squirrel came out. Oh, it's that kid. I don't remember his name. Jimmy. <laughs> it's Jimmy. <laughs> I got one out of five ice cubes. Oh. I didn't... Did they... Oh, jeez. The animations don't look that good. You, you don't think so? Um, I mean, I think stylistically it looks fine, but, like, it looks, like, too fl floaty, if that makes sense. I get you. Like, it's moving just, like, slightly too slow. You know mm. what I mean? Well, you're, you're, you're the one playing, so that might feel weird for you. No, no, I mean just, like, visually. Like, purely aesthetically. Mm. It just looks, like, slightly too slow compared to the show. Hmm. I don't know. So far, this game has a good first impression of me, though. Yeah, yeah. Man, I haven't seen this show in years. Uh, neither have I. Um, did you ever see the movie, The Big Picture Show? No. That was the, like, series finale. That was actually really good. I liked that a lot. I would love to just watch the whole show from start to finish one day. The first four seasons are great. Uh, season five I thought was hit or miss, uh -huh. and then that was the end. Oh. I had another Ed Entity game as a kid. I had Jawbreakers on Game Boy Advance, which was kind of just like a uh, ripoff of The Lost Vikings. But honestly, that was like a really cool way to do a game with three different characters. So you had to like, you played as all three and just switch between like this game, but they didn't like follow you around. You had to move each one separately through the level, and each one had unique abilities and thus a different way to get through the level. And like that was pretty cool. They had some cool puzzles yeah. with that. Did these guys all play the same? Um. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm assuming they have different abilities in this game. Yeah, like he has a slingshot up there, and <laughs> he has bombs. Bombs! Oh my god. Bomb. Oh, jeez. I don't know if I trust a kid with bombs. Oh, they're stink bombs. And then he doesn't have anything. <laughs> okay, so. 
chickens. You just so. you throw chickens at things? Um, you turn into an egg. <laughs> there's a squirrel. Ow. Okay, there's like a squirrel on my leg and it's doing damage. Okay, it's off. <laughs> I kind of like how there's actually like music that sounds like it's from the show too. Yeah. What is that? It's a really scary looking cat. That's a cat? I think it's a cat. It's Garfield. Well, now you're gonna kill it with a trash can. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, can I pick, can I pet it? Probably not. He's freaking out. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, you got him. <laughs> it is a cat. That's a cat? That's a really scary looking cat. It doesn't have a mouth. Okay. Well, I have a cat now. <laughs> it's my pet. <laughs> <laughs> this is my cat, Double Z. I feel like, like their faces look really bad. Yeah, they do. They look distractingly bad. Just keep them turned around. And no, they but look like fine. from the back, that looks fine. Yeah. Find a cat. Throw it at the dog. Is that the dog? Yeah. Throw it at the cooler. <laughs> Maybe the I, if poor I'm gonna, cat. If I'm gonna make a guess, it's probably like the dog was an obstacle, so I had to like distract it. Oh. <laughs> like having to chase the cat away or whatever. Mm. If I had to make a guess. Or maybe it was just going to need to break down the fence. I don't know. Um, this is like the problem going in blind for all these games. It's like, this is a game I had literally not thought of since I saw the TV commercial for in 2005. <laughs> you know? Oh, God, yeah. And then, like, people always suggest we play all these obscure games. I found, found a, jawbreak. a jawbreaker. I feel like that'd be an end of the level collectible. Not, like, just <laughs> middle of the level. <laughs> I love his laugh. Oh, Oh god, why are their faces so bad looking? <laughs> it's like, stay away from me. Oh, it's her. It's bitchy girl. <laughs> it's Sarah. Oh, Jimmy's back. Something about violence. God, they're... Do you see how his mouth just like has stretching up? <laughs> has Double D's torso always been so long? Uh, I think so, yeah. He always had like stubby little legs. <laughs> what? What she's I don't know, I laughed over her. I'll tell mom. Oh. Tell her what? <laughs> tell her what? <laughs> I'll tell mom. So I guess we can't go in there when she's in there. Press the Z button to enter first person mode and then Use the slingshot. Slingshot. Why did it turn me Use it on Jimmy's dolls. Wait, this isn't where I was facing. Why did it turn me around? <laughs> Shoot it at Jimmy. Okay. Forget the dolls. <laughs> 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 God. Die, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's more efficient. And like, shoot. and his sister just doesn't care. I gotta that's shoot the sister, dolls. Right? Uh, no, that's Ed's sister. Oh. I think Jimmy is just kind of like her gay best friend. Okay. So. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> shoot that. There we go. You scared him. It because the dolls fell, and then she runs after him because she's, like, overprotective of him or whatever. Uh, I thought that was because he was her brother. No, she's she's but... Ed's brother. Yeah, okay. Well, what the? I just smacked with a ruler. Oh, my God. Um, so far, and I know it's early to judge, so far this game is about as straightforward as it gets. Yeah. Like, I'm just kind of walking and doing what it tells me to do. Throw squirrels into the window of the house. These boys are destructive. What is my goal here? <laughs> Not even How do I sure. pick? Oh. It looked like the squirrel is picking up Ed. Oh, that squirrel blew up. Okay. Um, I need to... <laughs> this game is not very intuitive. It's just kind of like, like, just pick it up. But then, like, I hit the pickup button, it doesn't work. So I hit the attack button, it doesn't stun him. Oh my god. Hey, squirrel. Squirrel. Can I pick you up now? There we go. Okay, so that time it didn't die when I attacked it, just... <laughs> And then, throw the squirrel into the- <laughs> did you see it twirl around? That looks like a- that's kind of hurting my head, actually. That's like- Ooh, That's, that's like weird. just a textured wall that's like really close to the window. I don't like that. Yeah, that kind of- that was hurting my head a little with how that was prospectively laid out. Make wait, 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 where are you guys going? <laughs> Make Ed slam his head into the ground again. Well, that's- that's his attack. <laughs> oh my god. He like- he like headbutts. He also did that in, uh, the Game Boy one, the Jawbreaker <laughs> game. Which- That's so funny. So far, I feel like Jawbreakers is a more interesting game. Mm. 
I wouldn't even call it great, like, it has some major problems with, like, just not giving you enough time to complete levels and having some unfair difficulty, but at least the concept of that was really interesting. Yeah. Because all three characters had to be guided through levels separately. So far, this game's, like, not really that interesting. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean, where it's pretty straightforward. I like how it took three squirrels to scare them out of the house. I want to be Eddie. Oh, 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 okay, we're in how. Lift and throw the fr- what happened in this house? The squirrels. <laughs> okay, it's a lift. Oh. oh, now we're out here again. What? That does At not- At least there's no loading when you Yeah, but inside. that does not feel like a finished transition. <laughs> No. You know, I give them props for not having to stop and load, but, like, that was ugly. <laughs> Might be worth it just to have a loading screen. Wait, where's the fridge? <laughs> On the ground. Oh, that's the fridge. <laughs> yeah. That, I didn't recognize that as a fridge. It looked too small to me. No, he's humping it. He just hoists it over his head. Use batter ed? <laughs> what? Batter ed. Is that a thing from the oh. show? Oh. It's hit the L button, and then he gets uncontrollable. <laughs> this is kind of remind me of Lego Star Wars, except without, like, any of the charm. Oh, no. Okay, so a big part of, like, why we set these polls in the first place was because, like, people keep asking me to play games, and it's, like, it's always some game like this, or, like, Tack, or, like, <laughs> or, like, the Crash game we did last time, where it's, like, like, nothing about it's really that interesting. I wouldn't be able to do a whole series on this, you know? Mm hmm Like, that's the biggest reason we set up these polls. That's the biggest reason we set these polls, is just because, like, I constantly get requests to do Let's Plays of games, and it's like, I don't think you realize, like, that game's not f that good, but it's also not as, like, laughably bad as something like Nick Teams Unite, where I can make a good series, or Goblet of Fire. Uh-huh. It just falls under the category of, like, forgettable as hell. It's incredibly eh. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't, nothing about this game is really that bad, but, like, there's no reason to play it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh no, what is this? Those balls of poop. Disgusting. God, his tongue is just like levitating in his mouth. <laughs> Many doors, Ed Boy. <laughs> I, I'm not listening to what they say. I usually don't. <laughs> so, this came in first in the most recent poll. I remember the runner up was TAC 2. Oh, God, no more TAC games. Yeah, no, it's like I don't want to play TAC. Like, <laughs> Why you do this to us? Look, the tech games are horrible. I know they're people's childhoods, but they are horrible. <sighs> and then, like, the, the next one after that was Wii Sports Resort, which I feel like we can make a good video on or two. Oh, I could do that one. And then the next one after that was Spider-Man on PS1, which I've heard enough about that game that I feel like it's probably decent enough. Mm -hmm. That's probably, like, like, Battle for Bikini Bottom or, like, 900 Frights level, where it's, like, nothing special but, like, fun. Yeah. Whereas, like, this is, like, a tier below that, where it's, like, nothing special either way. Yeah. And, like, the only reason anyone remembers this game is because someone had it as a kid. You know what I mean? Mm hmm Oh. Okay, so... Wait, why did I put the pigs back in the pen? I was just told to open the pen. <laughs> okay, I'll put them back in the pen, even though the gate's open. Yeah, they're just gonna run right back out again. Uh, Ouch. Jeez. Well, he's stuck to the fence. <laughs> okay, I don't think that was supposed to happen. I don't know, when it comes to games like this, I just don't have a whole lot to say, because, like... The game's not giving me anything to work with, you know? Yeah, and that's why I can't really do a whole series on something like this. I mean, like, like Mystery Mayhem, I know I did Mystery Mayhem, but, like, that was first off, like, a sequel to a game that I had a huge personal connection to, 900 mm -hmm. Frights. And then, uh, second, Mystery Mayhem, like I said, ended up being in my, like, my bottom five games ever list. Yeah. So, I have a question for you, then. Do you yeah. have a separate, like, a separate list of games that you think are bad, like, like the, the glitchy and stuff, or, um, like, do you separate that from games that you just personally don't like? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I have, like, my, my list of least favorite games and my list of, like, worst games, and those are different lists. Aww. So, like, like, least favorite games would be something like Yoshi's New Island or Xenoblade 2 or, like, Doki Doki Literature Club, where there's, like, still enough depth there that you could do, like, an in-depth analysis on, like, what makes it not good. Yeah. And, like, it's, like, all those games, they're not, like unplayable, you know? They, they function. They function, they function. And then there's, like, my list of worst games, which... Those are games that just, like, they're so laughably broken. <laughs> Goblet of Fire. <laughs> yeah, okay, so, so, like, that list, number five would definitely, like I said, be Mystery Mayhem. Yeah. Then four would probably be Nicktoons Unite. And then three would be Sonic 06. Mm. Two would probably be Battle for Volcano Island. And then uh, one would definitely be uh, 
Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. And, like, those are all games where there's just, like, there's nothing redeemable about any of those, except for, like, the concept behind Nick Tuesday Night is being cool. Yeah, that's, like, the only thing it had going for it. But, like, like there's no, like, those games are, no one in the right mind is going to call any of those games good. <laughs> you know, maybe nostalgic, but no one's going to call them good games. Yeah. That's whereas, what... like, whereas, like I said, like, something like Yoshi's New Island or Xenoblade 2, it's, like, it's going to have its fans because it is a functional game. Mm -hmm. It's just, like... I have a personal hatred of it due to, like, in the case of both those games being because I played their predecessors who are so much better, it's not even a comparison. Yeah. Or in the case of Doki Doki Literature Club, I just thought it was painfully stupid writing. Yeah. And it was just, like, like it only caught on because it could fool people easily into being sentimental or whatever, and or, like, trying too hard to be scary. Mm, but, like, yeah. I it was it was stupid, so. And I would put, like, Pets, Cats 2 on my list of um, least favorite games because it's like it functions, but I just... uh, Pets Cats 2 is an interesting case. I do think it is one of the worst games ever made. Mm -hmm. But I don't. I wouldn't put it in the bottom five. Yeah, I don't know if I put it in bottom five, but it's definitely like the same concept for me where it, it functions. But I just <laughs> I've don't grown even know, to not. I don't like even it. know if I say it functions because that game couldn't figure out how to use the analog stick to control yeah, it. <laughs> where am I going? Oh, unless you play it on PlayStation. Yeah, if you play the Wii version, you could have used an analog stick. I have grown to not like that game, though. And then, like, <laughs> well, I also say, like, that game's the game that, like, blatantly lies to you. Yeah. Uh, on the box about what kind of game it is. Yeah. This should work. This, this should work as it smokes <laughs> and, like, dies. I need more ice cubes. Okay, so I missed a cooler somewhere? Use ice cubes to use the machine. Because we, we were getting them from the coolers, but I appear to have missed a cooler somewhere. Hmm. But anyway, yeah, no, like, like, Pets Cats 2 is, like... That is a horrible game, though. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, it, it functions, but I would say it's of the same build quality as, like, Mystery Mayhem, you know? Yeah. Like, I would say, like, like you know, as far as I hate Xenoblade 2, it's built significantly better than Pets Cats 2 was. There's no comparison there, you know? <laughs> like, this is getting to, like, your objective versus subjective thing again. Because, mm -hmm. like I said before, like, like, Xenoblade 2 is, like, you know, objectively, it's only, like, a 6 out of 10. It's not terrible. It's just kind of tedious. But then, like, subjectively, I give it, like, a 2, because I just find it insulting to the Xeno franchise, you know? Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, like you know, Mystery Mayhem, that's, like, objectively, like, a 2 out of 10. That's just a horrible game. And Pets Cats 2 is like that, too, you I know? I find Pets Cats 2 very offensive towards the original Pets franchise. I mean, you probably find <laughs> the entire Ubisoft Pets franchise offensive towards the original Pets franchise. I do. Where? There's nothing that gets me more heated than that. <laughs> well, because, like, nobody knows that the... Like, the old Pets franchise is actually different from, like, the shovelware that everyone knows from the 2000s. Yeah. Like, the 90s Pets games are completely unrelated. Mm-hmm. And if you haven't heard of them, I did a very brief Let's Play of it on my channel. <laughs> okay, so I'm supposed to find a cooler. Um, This is one of my least favorite game design tropes. This is a linear level. Now, go backtrack till you find something you missed on a linear level like that. Okay, it was right there. Mm -hmm. But still, like, I just don't like game design like that, where it's like, so you've missed something on a linear level. It could be all the way back at the beginning. Just tediously walk back till you get it. You yeah. Because, like, like, there was no point for those... I know that they are technically, like, they're pretty easy to get because you can see the cooler or whatever, but, like, they shouldn't be missable, period, then. Mm -hmm. It should physically not let me progress to the next area of the level until I have them all, you know? Yeah, no, that might, that would be convenient. Okay, how do I switch characters again? <laughs> but, no like, more dumb, Ed. But, it, like, I, mean, I don't know. This game's, like, tack in the sense that, like, it's not even, like, a worst game ever. It's just, like... Boring. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Current game completion. Nine, that was 9% of the game? Wow. That said 9% game completion. We've been playing for like 10 minutes. <sighs> that means you can beat the whole game in like 2 hours. 100%. Damn. That's a short game. God, they charged people $50 for this? It was $50? Yeah. God. Yeah, I hate to be. I hate to get this as a Christmas gift one year. Jeez, <laughs> feel bad for any kid who had to deal with that. It's like the kind of game that your grandma gives you. No, I would disagree because this was a popular show. Mm. So I feel like this is totally the kind of game that kids wanted. Because like, think about Nixie's Unite. Nixie's Unite is the kind of game your grandma gets you. Nixie's Unite is the kind of game you see a commercial for and you want to play. Because it looks cool. And then like, because you're a kid, you have low standards and you just accept that it's terrible. Mm -hmm. you, you just accept that, like, you accept the terribleness of the game and, like, ignore it and just pretend it's good. Yeah. But then, like, you know, when you're older, you can see, like, oh, there's an obvious difference between, like, Battle for Bikini Bottom, which is a great game, mm -hmm. and, like, Nixie's Unite, which is, like, just a lazy cash grab game, you know? Yeah. I wouldn't call this even a lazy cash grab. This just seems like the, the dev team behind it had, like, no idea what they were doing. Mm-hmm. Because, like, I don't know, nothing about this really screams lazy to me. Like, yeah, Nixie's Unite was, like, lazy. Like, they just straight didn't care about that game, you know? It's cute. It's just that nothing really stands out about it. Like I said, I don't know. The only reason I'm playing this is because it won a poll. <laughs> Wait, 
Okay, so I guess we oh, use yeah, up the would. ice. Wait, we already saw this. We already... <laughs> Wait. I'm backtracking. Wait, this is the first... Wait, hold on a minute. What just happened? <laughs> Wait, didn't we already do this? Are we... We're in like a flashback mode. Are we? Can I... But seriously, I'm so confused. Okay, but can I go back? Okay, so I think I said like cold attack. I guess that was the hub. Uh, and I was supposed to like go to... Yeah, this... Okay, so it's scan. These scans like a different chapter. Mm. We gotta get to pin the tail on the ed. But we accidentally went back to the first level. Oops. And... Okay, exit to cul-de-sac. I was like, is there a way back? <laughs> Good. Good, thank no, God. play through the whole first level again. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to play through the first level again. Okay, so cul-de-sac. I didn't see this arrow. I'm guessing that's level two. It should tell yes. you what level it is. Yeah, why does it not? It just... It just says you wish to go to this level. I, I guess. But, it, like, it should say there, like, this is the... Level two. Scam two or whatever. They're called mm -hmm. scams, but... That's really stupid. No Eds allowed. <laughs> I like how it's just specifically no Eds. I don't care why people hate Double D. <laughs> One thing I like about the show is, like, every character is an asshole. Yeah. If I'm remembering right. This is, like, an... Usually I hate shows like that because they're too mean-spirited, but something about the show just kind of works. Mm -hmm. I think it's that, like, it's... It is somewhat mean-spirited. It's just a sense that, like, no character is anything that makes him innocent except for Double D. Mm. And even then, he's, like, an asshole. He's a condescending asshole. So. Is he? <laughs> yeah. So, like, I feel like that's how it works. Yeah, that way it's, like, you don't really care when they get hurt. Because yeah, no. like, they and also, deserved like, it. The slapstick in this game, in the show, is, like, so over the top, too. Mm-hmm. Like, it'll be something like a building will actually fall on someone completely. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then, like, you know, they spring back up. So we're in the sewer now. Pin the tail on the head. Ew, gross. Find the way to Jimmy's backyard. We could just climb over the fence. <laughs> okay, so I'm in the sewer. And again, this level looks about as boring as the others. <laughs> Ed is just laughing as he climbs through that mud. What he am enjoys I... it. Oh, a yo-yo. Oh. That doesn't look like it's coming out of his hand at all. It looks like it is his arm. It looks like it's coming off his pants, but like he's not touching it. <laughs> Unsanitary. Yes, it's a sewer. It's very unsanitary. There is nothing interesting going on in this game at all. <laughs> there is absolutely nothing interesting in this game. God, there's like toxic waste down here. Probably blow up those pipes with the toxic waste to make it fall. Oh no, I gotta go there. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. So Ed. Uh, we just we just gotta switch to double D and press L to enter Ed Trampoline Formation. Is that an alligator? I honestly feel like nothing about this makes me like wish it you know was a game and not just an episode, episode of, of the show. TV show. Okay, I'm being hit like, by an alligator. I'm hitting, being hit by an alligator here, but like, okay, I was like, I can't even see it. Mm. Yeah, no, like, this is the kind of game, like I said, people ask us to play because they play it as kids, and, like, mm -hmm. that's it. It's like, there's there's really nothing, like, very immersive about it, if you catch my drift. No, like I said, this, this game is, like, redefining mediocre. Yeah. There's just, like, like, no, the only reason I'm playing this is because I was voted to. Like, I have, this is just so not interesting. <laughs> I gotta wait just for the, over there frolicking in I the I gotta mud. wait for the AI to catch up to me. Yo, Ed! Get up here, you dumbass. <laughs> what the fuck? He's shooting. Yo, Ed, over here. What is he doing? He's is having it... such a good time. Is this the challenge? Get Ed out of the mud. I think his AI was just stuck going on a loop there. Okay. Uh, so I'm just, like, I'm just walking. Like, that's, that's it. There's no depth to this game at all. Yeah. Yeah, nothing about this feels like it couldn't have just been an episode of the show. Well, except for the fact that there's no dialogue or plot. And, yeah. But, like, whatever jokes they came with this game could just be an episode. I need a key. God, that's these alligators, alligator. These alligators are not fun to fight. They, they, <laughs> they fall under the same problem as so many other bad games, that the enemies take more than one hit, but there's no reason for them to. It just makes the game tedious. Because there's no skill. You kind of just mash a button. You kind of just mash a button. And it's, like, the same problem with Tack and the same problem with the next Teenage United game. I feel like every bad or mediocre game has that problem. I've noticed. Like... 
If there's no reason for an enemy to take more than one hit, then don't make them take more than one hit. It just makes the game longer. It's more satisfying when you just, like, blaze through and kill them yeah, all no, in one hit. I think I said this during attack, but, like, an enemy in Zelda takes more than one hit because there's, a co there's like, three different combat dodges. You can dodge left, dodge right, dodge backward. You can block. Some games you have two different blocks. Some games you have a parry mechanic. Mm -hmm. You also have slash attacks, stab attacks, jump attacks, crouching attacks. There's, like, a depth to the combat because all those have different uses. In a game where combat consists of mashing one button, there's no reason for enemies to take more than one hit because there's no depth to it. Yeah. And that's why I hate about Nicktoons Unite's combat. That's why I hate about Tax combat. That's actually why I said that uh, Nicktoons Unite is better than Volcano Island because at least in Nicktoons Unite you had more than one attack. Mm -hmm. In Volcano Island you had like the punch attack and like that was it. Oh, that's right. Ugh. So every fight was just you hold forwards and mash punch. And I gotta go find the key somewhere. So I just gotta backtrack again in a linear level. Oh. God. Yeah, they really should have I don't locked get, you out. Until I don't they... get, like, why people want us to play games like this. It's like, maybe it's because whoever votes for this, like, genuinely hasn't played it in years. Probably. But, like, at the same time, it's like, I don't know. <sighs> you, you play your own mediocre games. Vote for a fun game next time. <laughs> <laughs> Vote for a game I can enjoy. Like, at least with Crash, it was like getting into a franchise I'd never tried before. Yeah. Even if I thought that specific game didn't hold up. Because I've looked up online, like, a lot of people thought that that specific Crash game was lacking. Mm. Compared to the others. Well, that's a shame that that's the one that won. <laughs> that is a shame that's the one that won, but that's also the one that our generation probably grew up with because that was the one for PS2. Oh. Whereas the other ones were for PS1, so probably predated our generation by a few years. You know? Yeah. Well, yeah, and like you said, that it is a big gaming franchise, so that, yeah, one, so that one made sense to try. Like, this but. one is just like, like, what what did people want to see? Yeah. Ed, Ed and Eddie isn't really known for its video games. No. Th well, that's what I don't get. A lot of people, like, they assume that, like, a Let's Play of their favorite game will be better than a Let's Play of a game that we can do commentary for. Mm -hmm. Because, like I said, I said this before, but so many people watch a Let's Play for the game and not the commentary. At that point, it's like, you can just watch a walkthrough without commentary and be just as entertained. Yeah. You know? But, like... Like, like you, you're... Stupid I, alligator. Yeah, I know. Piss off. Because, like, I feel like my best Let's Plays are stuff that I have a personal connection to. Because, mm -hmm. like, Xenoblade is obviously one of my favorite games. Yeah. Madagascar is a game that I play as a kid, so I was nostalgic for. And, yes, it happened to hold up really well. Yeah. And then there's, like, Goblet of Fire, which, even though I think it's a horrible game, is also a game I play as a kid, so I still have a lot to say about it, you know? But, there, yeah, there's a reason why you pick certain games for us yeah, to no. Let's Play. And that's why, like, my least favorite comments when someone just, like, played this game or whatever. And it's, like, someone who's never commented before and is probably never going to comment again. Mm-hmm. You know? And obviously that's not the kind of people voting. The kind of people voting are, like, the people on the Discord server, so, like, people who actually are watching the, the whole, like, everything we do. But at the same time, it's like, when I see a game like this, I'm just like... How? Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Well, for a game like this, it's just like, like... What were you expecting us to make with this, you know? Like, there's no... There's nothing in this game to talk about. There's, yeah, there's really nothing that funny in it. <laughs> there's nothing, like, that funny or interesting or, like... There's nothing for us to analyze in, like, a mechanical depth... There's it functions. There's nothing, like, funny for us to make fun of. It's just kind of like, it's here. <laughs> the only thing I'm finding amusing is Ed's laughter, but I could just watch the show for that. <laughs> Am I missing something? Where's the key? <laughs> I feel like we've been everywhere in this little sewer. I haven't found the key yet. You went all the way to the right over Yeah, there's, like, yeah. nothing over here. That's where the lock is. Just punch it. What? Wait, what? What'd you do? I went up there and hit the Y button, which is the button he used to twist the, the handle, and it opened the key door. That thing was electric. Pick, I didn't pick up a key, so I assumed I needed a key to open a door with a lock on it. Forgive <laughs> me for assuming that. Okay, that's just game design 101. Okay, like, that that's just stupid. Damn. <sighs> like, I hate shit like that in a game. It's like, how do you get that wrong? Mm -hmm. Have you ever played... Like, to the people designing the game, like, have you ever played a game? Of course not. They designed Mystery Mayhem. <laughs> but, like, I don't know. I see something like that. It's like, have you ever designed a game? Have you ever played a game before? Yeah, it's like, okay. That that can't be forgiven. <laughs> if, uh, here's what I say. Like, if you haven't played through Mario 64 and Ocarina of Time, you have no business making games. Those are two games every game designer needs to play through. Mm -hmm. Because they set the foundation for what works and what doesn't in games, you know? Yeah. And guess what? I don't even think every aspect of those games hold up. Ocarina, I think, is a solid 7 out of 10 game. That doesn't change the fact that you should still play it if you're ever going to be a game designer because of all the things it did do right, you know? Yes. So can I interact with that? I agree. Probably. I can do the stack. No. Nope. 
That's just oh oh I can be trampolined up there. That's right. These abilities are so unintuitive and uncharacteristic of the Eds that like I forget they exist. You know what I mean? They don't just, bounce on each other's dandies. Well, it's just like I come to something like this and I'm just like oh that's right yeah there's a bounce move in this game to get up there. Uh huh. Because it's like that you can only do that with double D, but why not double D suggest he can bounce? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like him opening like like twisting the the machinery wheel like I get that you know that's something he could do. But like bounce? He is known for his bouncing ability. If anything, I feel like Eddie should be the one with the big jump because I view him as the most agile of the three. Yeah. So what's his special ability? He taunts. Are you were you doing that? Yes, he has the ability to just say in your dreams. <laughs> so they can stack up. But like, what does this do for me? I'm taller. Can can he jump off the top? No. I just feel like I have a very strong problem with this game of I don't know what to do. And I don't care enough to find out. It's <laughs> so like, that's glowing. So can I interact with that in any way? There's his attack, there's his pickup move. And then there's his ram move. Okay, that's all he can do. He can't do anything Let's with that. Destroy everyone's abilities on it. Do I shoot it? What? Oh, yes. This thing that looks like a twisty wheel, you shoot it. <laughs> of course. Logic. How could I have not thought of that? It looks like a spinny wheel, you just shoot it. It doesn't look like a button you hit or anything. I want to put a picture on screen. That's a button in Battle for Bikini Bomb that you shoot something with. You know, <laughs> it looks like it's going to indent when you hit it. Yeah. Okay, that's... That wasn't a button that you shoot to hit. That looked like a twisty button. Yeah. It's like they, they expect you to just, like, spam all of their moves until you find the right one. Instead oh, God, of actually yeah, that's like my, thinking about what you're supposed to do. That's like my least favorite game ever. There's a game where you just have to like, okay, so which am I... That's what happened next to you tonight. You come to a glass wall and you're like, okay, do you scream at it with the ghostly whale? No. Okay, do you blow it up with the Spongebob bomb? No. Oh, I see what you do. You freeze it with Timmy's freeze glove. Mm. And then smack... And like, like... I hate games where you just come to something and it's like, alright, now let's try to try every move on this one object till something works. Yeah, that's really annoying. Because like... Why can't I just twist that? Look twisty. Oh my god, these rats. Rats, rats. We are the rats. <laughs> a clam? I thought it was the clam laughing at first. So why did it show me that clam? You can't... Okay, there's something else I don't like about this game. It's just like, here's a clam. And this is me to know what to do with it. Like, do I smack it? No. You throw it at the cans? Well, only, Can you pick it up? No, only it bites you. Only Ed can pick up. No, but there was a key behind there. Oh, God, okay. we're gonna mess things. I guess, nope, 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 nope. Switching characters is so unintuitive in this game too. Why can't I just use the arrows? Because the arrows are also walk in this game for some reason. <laughs> Whose voice is Double D? Uh, his name will be on screen right there. <laughs> I wish I knew what it said. <laughs> um, you can watch this back if you want. Get off me, you clam. My, my. Intriguing. Chicken. Chicken, three exclamation points. What? So I'm chasing him on a timer? Why is there a chicken in a sewer? And shooting him doesn't stop him, which is dumb. Why the hell doesn't shooting him slow him down if I gotta catch him on a timer? <laughs> <sighs> No, I don't want to retry the chicken chase. You can hardly tell which one you have selected. Oh, yeah. I need to get my glasses on. This is just like... Like, why was this game made? Like, who was asking for this game? Who played this game and, like, after this level wanted to keep playing it? So this isn't a sequel to any other Ed, Ed and Eddie games, right? Was it just made? It was just made. Time? It was just made. There were three Ed, Ed and Eddie games made. The one on Game Boy Jawbreakers, which, like I said... I think a decent concepts, but overall fell flat. This game, which is just so boring, and there's a third one on DS, which I've seen reviews say was the best of the three. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a low bar to reach, but... Okay. This game is just like, you walk, you try to stumble Katie, across Katie, puzzles. Katie, Katie, people keep telling us that Shrek 2 is good and we should give it another chance. <laughs> Shrek 2. Shrek 2 is literally just like you walk around and try to figure out what the puzzle is. And get killed and get killed due to bullshit or glitches. Yeah. Goodness gracious. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think this game is made better than Shrek 2, but it's about as entertaining. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's maybe better than Shrek 2 because at least I'm not constantly frustrated. <laughs> but like, it's about as lacking in the entertainment value as Shrek 2. <laughs> I know, I started it off by saying this off by saying I thought it was like cute and kind of charming, but really it kind of lacks in those areas too. It's just, kind of, well, it goes cute and charming at first because the art style was nice, except for the faces. Yeah. But then like, like at this point it's just dragging on. Yeah, admittedly. I do like, still like the art direction, even though this set piece is kind of boring. It's kind of just like sewer. Can I break that? That looks breakable. I don't care enough to figure it out, but. <sighs> like, like this is just a long hallway for the sake of being a long hallway. Yeah. Like, that was all it was. Oh, so now I gotta go find the valve for the door. <laughs> So I just gotta go find it. And Johnny and Plank are just here. Oh, there it is. Oh, he found it for us. Do I have to fight him for it? Is he a mini boss? Just punch him in the face. I know. Just knock Plank into the sewer. <laughs> just eat Plank. Feed him to an alligator. I gotta get the clams. Also, these cutscenes are boring. <laughs> so turn the valves to lower the water level. <sighs> what happened? I guess you can't stand in the Oh. I, I didn't realize that was deep enough that I couldn't say It looks like the ground's right there. Yeah, I can see something that looks like at we the could, bottom of it. It looks like we could wade through that. Again, with just unintuitive everything, so... How deep can you go? <laughs> so, how do I get across? Uh, there's a bridge. Where? Oh, wait, no, never mind. Like, what am I supposed to do? How long do you think it has to be before we're satisfied? <laughs> we satisfied people? I'd like to at least finish this level, but... I don't care. This game is so boring. <laughs> so, like I said before, the reason we opened up these polls was so that way people it would stop suggesting to me games that don't hold up for me to play, and so we could play them here and only play them for an hour instead of doing a whole series on them like Mystery Mayhem. Uh. Because like Mystery Mayhem was me taking fan requests, and it was a it was, God, like I said, top five worst games I've ever played. You know. <laughs> And, like, I have a feeling that, like, if I keep taking people's suggests, I'm, Mystery Mayhem is no longer going to be the top five worst games of people <laughs> that I've ever played. You're just going to keep finding more. Wait, I mean, go like, back over to the... the... Like, this is, this is better than Mystery Mayhem just because it's not frustrating me, but, like, I don't know what to do. Go back over to the, uh, um, the valve thingy. Here? Over to the right, I think, towards the end of here. And then look across the way. That's what we're trying to get to, right? Can you, do you, do you oh. throw water at it? Yeah, you shoot that. Again, with unintuitive puzzles, that doesn't look like something you shoot. I mean, to their credit, they did show... I did have to shoot something to get here before. But at the same time, like, it should look shootable. It really doesn't look shootable at all. It just looks like you're supposed to twist it. Yeah, that looks like a twisty valve. Oh my god. Oh god. It's a canker. Just there, behind a painting in the sewer. I guess they live down here. They live in the trailer park. Oh yeah, that's right. But okay, what did so. That do? Um, <laughs> Seriously, what did that do? <laughs> I think it it lowered the water level. See, now I can go to some parts. Ah. Uh, why did Ed call himself a loser when he fell in? Earlier? I think that was Kevin. Oh. He's just he, he's just in their heads. <laughs> he's always always in their heads, ridiculing them. I hear the cankers talking again. Oh my god! And I can't do this because the clams are in the way. Fucking clams. And they just bite. I hate when something bites you. It just stays on your leg and you can't do anything. Like, my, my, intriguing. So you go say that every time. <laughs> my, my, intriguing. Unlike this game. They do live down here. Another canker. They just live in the sewer. <laughs> Alright. Now what? You go back just, to... And we just go down here and walk around till we find the next one to twist. And nothing in this game is interesting. <sighs> A jawbreaker. 
See, like, this is... Okay, so the people who did this, I said did Mystery Mayhem, they also did Scooby-Doo Unmasked, which uh -oh. is the third game of the Scooby-Doo series. Night of 100 Frights being the exception. Night of 100 Frights was made by Heavy Iron, who did Battle for Bikini Bottom. Mm -hmm. So people keep telling me to do Scooby-Doo Unmasked, and I'm like, I don't know. If Scooby-Doo Unmasked is made by the same people who made this in Mystery Mayhem, I really don't want to play it. Because I doubt it holds up. Sounds like it'll just be a snooze fest. <laughs> well, Mystery Mayhem was not a snooze fest. <laughs> Mystery Mayhem was, like, hilariously bad. Mm. Mystery Mayhem was just, like, straight up, like, what is wrong with this game? Whereas this game is just kind of like, why am I playing this game? Which is a very good question. Why am I playing this? It's been a half hour. <laughs> oh, well. So what just, do I do now? smack Johnny over the head. I've got to make it to at least 45 minutes, right? Yeah. Because that's what we did for the other ones. Did Johnny hurt? Oh, the clams. So now what do I do? There's no more valves. Not down there. So what do I do? Uh... Oh my god. Those clams, man. Like, what's the challenge of those clams supposed to be? You know what they remind me of? They remind me of the hand enemy in Link to the Past. I've ranted about this before, but like in the Skullwoods Dungeon Link to the Past, it's such a cool dungeon, and there's one major problem. That's that it has enemies there that are hands, and all they do is they grab you and just bring you back to the start of the dungeon. Oh my and god. If you kill them, they respawn instantly. There's no challenge there's no challenge in fighting them, it's just tedious, you know? Like there's no there's absolutely no challenge, it's just tedious. That's why I feel like these clams, you know? Yeah. The difference is for all Link to the Past problems, it's at least like a playable game. <laughs> I think Link to the Past does not hold up very well either, but like at least it's like playable, uh -huh. you know? I wouldn't, I wouldn't compare it to this at all, other than just the similarity in the way these enemies are so annoying. Mm -hmm. Like, enemies in a game should never just be annoying. They should actually pose a challenge. Either pose a challenge or be fun to fight. One of those two. Those are the only two things they need to do. And if they don't do either, then it's not a good enemy. These clams are neither. They're not a challenge. They're just annoying. And yeah. they're not fun to fight. They're just annoying. Can you go back to Johnny and see if he talks? I see did. He, he doesn't. anything else to say. He doesn't. Oh, my God. <laughs> what do we do? What am I supposed to do? How do you get the clams off you? Just jump around, I guess. Why does Double D's hat have like an erection? <laughs> Can I shoot the clams? Nope. How come Jimmy reacted when I shot him but no one else does? Because <laughs> he's What am I? Like, what's the point of dying in this game? It just sets you back, like, two steps. <laughs> so what am I supposed to do? I have no idea. Why am I still playing this crap? I don't, Look, even, I don't care enough to pull up a walkthrough. Like, you you know you've messed up in a game where I think Tack is more fun to play. <laughs> I would rather be playing Tack than this. I wish, least... I wish Tack 2 won. At least Tack 2 is like... Like, I can make fun of how ugly it is. <laughs> This is just, like, so boring. Wait, what? Wait. What happened? Well, that's here now. But what happened? Hmm, this should work. Okay. But, Where did that come from? I don't know. That wasn't there. I went back up there and that wasn't there. Remember? Yeah. Whatever. Is this the end of the level? Please. I see you, a ramp. I do know that there's only six levels in this game. And this is like the end of level two in like a half hour. <laughs> Next stop, Jimmy's backyard. All right, sorry for that brief interruption. Create a diversion by smashing the pinatas. Where? Oh, there's one. Yes, those giant jawbreakers the size of your head are going to fit into this little pinata. Oh, that's the pinata up there. Yeah. I thought it was this. I thought it was that thing. Uh, That's just a chicken. The, why would it be on the ground? I don't know. Why would they make this game? <laughs> How do you get that? Do you have anything besides water balloons? You know, previously this game taught me with its game design that if there's something hanging, I can shoot it down. That's what the first level, of the tutorial, did. Mm -hmm. Now it's telling me I can't. That shitty game design. Oh if a God. game establishes that you can do something, then I expect it to always do that. The first level of this game, one of my first tasks was to shoot something hanging with double D. Okay? Yeah. Now I'm here, there's something hanging, so my instinct is, okay, I can shoot that. But it doesn't move. So what am I supposed to do? Can you roll into it, like, smack it with something? Why do they want to come to this party? It's empty. 
Why did they leave the pinatas up? Go make a uh, dumb Ed, like smack his head into the ground and see if that rumbles anything. Oh, there's a ball. Do I throw that? Maybe. Oh, maybe. The squirrels as enemies is just not fun. They're too small. Uh huh. So why do they just leave the pinatas here? Throw. Nope. <laughs> yeah, but the water balloon should have worked too. Not should have worked too. That should have been what I had to do. God. Obviously, I'm not a programmer, but I feel like in terms of like directing a game, I could have directed a million times better than this. <laughs> like, obviously, I'm not a programmer, not a modeler, but in terms of like conceptualizing the levels, like, like God, anyone could do better. This is so boring. Mm -hmm. Are you telling me that like there are people who played this game and like found this entertaining? They must have really liked Ed, Ed and Eddie. No, that's the only thing. It's, it's not that they found the game entertaining. It's that they liked Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Yeah. So, like, it's like, you know, the same reason people thought Nick D. Zion and Volcano Island were fun. It's because they liked those characters. It's nothing to do with the game. Yeah. You don't like the game. You'll like the characters. Yeah, if you strip the characters from this game, it's like, well, what's there to like about it's it? It's like, would you still play it if it weren't Ed, Ed, and Eddie? No, and no one would. If this were John, John, and Johnny, <laughs> no one would play it. Oh my god. There's no way to... Aim. I feel like that's what you have to do, though. Throw the basketball at it. Even though the game previously established that I can shoot stuff with double D, can yeah. I throw in first? Can he go into first person too? Ah, uh, don't know. Not while, not while. He can, but not while holding something. He can't throw high enough. Well, like, what else can you do? I don't know. What am I supposed to do here? Also, I've only found one pinata. There's supposed to be three. What the? What is that? Um, well, there's another pinata. Can I do something with it? Do you have to use that machine or something? No, I broke it. Oh. <laughs> My voice hurts. Have I played enough of this game? I'm. <sighs> Please vote for something better than this shit next time, okay? This is nothing redeemable about this game, okay? Like. I w like, I wanted it to be good. <laughs> oh, I go into every game wanting it to be good. Why would I want a game to be bad? Yeah. <laughs> Why would I ever go into a game wanting it to be bad? I want to like games. But like... Games are always giving you a reason to not like them. I'm still waiting for the... I mean, admittedly, this is only the third game we've had voted, but I'm still waiting for someone to... For like, a, a game that's actually like, fun to play to win. Mm hmm And not some like, just... Like, ah, uh, This trash, you know? <laughs> The most fun thing is just bashing his head on the ground. Because that's what you'd like to be doing. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Nothing about this game is intuitive. It doesn't tell me what to do. It it establishes things that I later can't replicate. Things seem to happen arbitrarily. You know, it's not like... I, I wouldn't want them to just say, like, do this to knock the pinata down. But, like, but, give like, me a direction. Yeah, but the things that we've previously been able to do should work. Okay, so I just remember Double D can super jump for some reason. Is that what I'm supposed to do? No. Yeah. What about the stack up thing? Oh, I mean the game never actually introduced this to me. Remember? Yeah. Yeah, you figured that out. So. Eddie looks high as fuck. So do you? No. That doesn't work. Okay, I feel, I feel like we've tried, like, literally everything now. You know, I think we've tried enough of this game. <laughs> uh, you know, okay. From now on, we're gonna give every game a rating out of 10. Mm -hmm. uh, when we when we finish it for the poll. Trash out of 10. Uh, this game gets uh, two sidewalk squares out of 10. Because they live in a cul-de-sac. <laughs> two um, out of 10. Yeah, I'll give it... Uh, Two squirrels out of ten. And and these are not meant to be objective ratings. These are just meant to be, like, how fun I found them. Yeah. So this game... Kicking this truck around is more fun than playing the actual... Yeah, game. no, like, seeing where you can get it to go. I want to glitch it over the fence. Oh. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Alright, you done with this? It floats like a balloon. Yeah, I'm done. Alright. Oh, thank you, everyone, for voting on this game's poll. Um... 
God. Please vote for something better vote next Vote for a time. decent fucking game next month, please. The next please. poll will be uh, opening it is June now. The next poll will open in July. So, uh, I hope a fun game wins this time. Not a fucking tat game. Not some fucking, like, half-ass cartoon game that doesn't hold yeah. up. Yeah, please try to think it through. And not Shrek 2. <laughs> See you there. See ya.